What's happening everyone? Noah back here with another YouTube video here today bringing you all some more Call of Duty Mobile to the channel. Today is January 26th and it's currently 7 p.m. which means we officially just had the brand new update drop for the game here and we are going to be resetting back to season one of COD Mobile. New order is the theme of this season. We're going to scroll through. We have a lot of new things to go ahead and cover here in today's quick video, which is going to be dropping just a couple minutes after the update, more than likely. So we're going to be buying the entire new battle pass. We're going to be reacting and showing off the epic version of the FR556, which is going to be the max um, battle pass upgrade version, essentially like the, the rank 50. And then we'll be also showing off the gravity vortex gun, which I've actually done some gameplay a little bit in the beta stuff. And it looks like later on in the season, we will be receiving the SKS, a semi-automatic marksman rifle with a fast fire rate. So a lot of new stuff. On top of that, we have new game modes. And I wonder, are we going to be getting a new map? Holiday Aftermath. So Aftermath is a new map. Once again, I have covered it in a beta video before. Very condensed map, which probably we will be seeing the 3v3 game mode eventually played on that map. But as of now, you can do a 10-player uh, just regular multiplayer match on that map so definitely something that's going to be pretty cool but i want to go ahead and just take the time to focus on the battle pass here for today's video because i have not seen anything on the battle pass i i've stayed very very clean of the leaks so this is all going to be new to me we got the epic hd 40 an epic cordite ftl i love the whole theme of this this all seems like very futuristic to me uh, so, I mean, we got FTL coming back. Profit as well. Locust, Carbine Cut. That almost looked like a like a Destiny-type weapon. Spectre Chrome. That looks sick. Yeah, this is very, like, cyberpunk-ish to me. So, Season 1 Battle Pass. New Order. Who will you become in the New Order? Four new Epic Operators. Build a new arsenal with four Epic Blueprints. Unlock the new FR-556. Rogue Agent at Tier 50. And then it looks like a new axe with a charm on it i wonder if that's like a new addition axes are now gonna be able to have charms on them or maybe just melee weapons in general um but anyway you guys know we're just gonna go straight through this to the end of the battle pass this stuff is still downloading for me and we're gonna go ahead and max this all the way out to a tier 50 so we can show off everything for all of you and of course we're gonna go through here and see this so there's ftl i think i saw an hbr scan we got some emotes so it's nice to see emotes are gonna be here uh, if you're a free-to-play player at rank 21 in the Battle Pass, he'll be unlocking the FR for free. So that's pretty nice to see as well. And then boom, bam, we're going to be going through all this. So I'm also going to need to still buy the premium version of the Battle Pass. I kind of just jumped straight to upgrading this out. So this is all the stuff that you'll be getting if you're a free-to-play player on screen right now throughout the season for the Battle Pass. Go ahead and go to the Instant Unlock. We'll buy the Battle Pass, and that's going to be another 560 CP. Once we get this purchase, now all the premium items are going to start going through. So David Mason Enforcer. There's that Cordite skin that we had seen. I'm curious on what the Iron Sight's going to look like on this. I, I feel like it's going to have to have some sort of custom just based off like the front of this weapon. Um, obviously, the, the core epic blueprint for this is going to be having a ACOG sight of some kind on it, but we'll have to check that out. Uh, there's an EMP skin. Nothing too crazy with that. Here's this HBR. It looks like it's going to be a standard epic, so it's not going to be animated. It's not going to have a custom iron sight. Nothing too crazy. This I really do like. FTL Powerline. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare, just futuristic games in general. So definitely glad to have that skin. And this one I'm really looking forward to. That would be sick if when you scope in the sniper, it actually has a custom reticle. We'll have to try this out as well here in this video. So Locust Carbine Cut. I'm telling you, it looks like a Destiny weapon to me. That's so cool. Just a throwaway ICR. There's our profit skin. DLQ. Knife. Just some rares. Here's the epic HD40. Again, doesn't look like there's going to be a custom iron sight here for this, but it sort of looks like a zombie's wonder weapon almost. I'd seen someone had sent me on Twitter something that looks very similar to the Soliquifier, if you guys know of that wonder weapon. And that's the, the type of like vibe I'm getting from this. Not quite the same though. 50 GS rare skin. And there's Spectre Chrome. That just looks creepy. That's all I'm going to say. Just looks creepy. Straight up. <laughs> and here it is. The FR556. This looks like 
one of the season one like the og season one um like pinstripe type 25 that's what i'm getting from this so it feels pretty cool to see like the epic kind of resembling that i, I feel like they did that on purpose to just sort of throw back to those og days when like the the pinstripes were like the coolest skins in the game because there's really not too much available back then sick i also want to go ahead and check out the store we've got some crates here it looks like the cyber shotgun crate which is going to contain ted hold on we got we gotta just download this right here that's like a combination of i don't even know what that is that looks nothing like ted what the heck i mean the jaw does okay that's an interesting skin so this is going to be a katana crate you guys already know Nice is going to be loving that. Of course, we're also going to have brand new seasonal challenges coming with this new update, as well as a new monthly login calendar that is going to be containing the Battle Hardened Free character skin. And this one looks really sick. I love the color scheme of it. Definitely one of the better like free monthly login calendar characters that we've gotten since this uh, whole system has dropped. Besides that, again, nothing too crazy at the moment. Later on in the season, we will have... Um, challenges so you can unlock the free SKS and I'm imagining there's also going to be a paid version that you can get to just instantly unlock it but with all that being checked out and looked at we're gonna go ahead and equip a couple of different loadouts go to the like firing range and we're gonna be showing off some of the new items and here we are in the firing range getting our first look at new weapons so this is the base FR556 it's damage and uh, recoil pattern. So it does 30 to the chest, which means it's going to be a four shot up close. 30 to the head as well, which is very interesting. And then it goes down to 22 to the legs. And I'm assuming other limbs, 25 to the arms. But as far as recoil goes, this is with no recoil control. It seems like it's going to be primarily vertical, which means it's going to be relatively easy to control. Now, of course, this is with no attachments. It seems like the weapon does already have like a relatively fast reload. This is going to be the epic blueprint with its base four attachments. A little bit slower on the ADS. I don't think its damage is going to be any different. And it looks like that extended mag is also going to be a 30 round extended mag. I want to go ahead and test like the range a little bit here of this weapon. So it's still going to be the same at uh, 10 meters as it is at five. Once you go down to 20 meters, still going to be a four shot kill, but going to be a little bit tougher to hit those uh four shots we'll go back here to 30 meters and that's when it's finally going to become a little bit tougher to kill making it six actually and then 40 meters you're still dealing that 22 damage per chest shot i wonder how the headshot actually is here Let's see if we can line that up 22 okay so 22 19 even so damage drop off not too uh powerful of a weapon but the recoil doesn't seem like it's actually going to be too terrible to control. It does look like it starts to like go a little bit more horizontal once you get longer at range. So overall, just initially, this seems like it's going to be a very average weapon, not super OP. But, you know, depending on the type of attachments that you can actually put on this weapon, it might be pretty good. It seems like potentially it could be a very like high mobility build that you could do here for this AR, especially with like how fast that reload speed is. And just like even with this being a slower build it seems like it's still kind of like relatively gets ads pretty quickly other weapons i wanted to go ahead and check out so this is the ftl character power line the one we just unlocked with the new cordite tech Neuer. and this looked like it had a different iron sight and i was right yeah so this is what the iron sight looks like here for this weapon this is the reload for it and then this one i was really curious on the locust carbine cut what does the scope look like it does have a custom scope dude that is so cool oh my gosh and this is the default blueprint for it as well so it looks like it comes with a suppressor as well i think this is probably the coolest thing in the battle pass i've been dying to see like a cool locust like this this is awesome did they change the damage on this maybe it does 95 and then 142 so this is without stopping power what's like the chest 142 and then the waist is 95 yeah so this is without stopping power for sure at least i'd imagine i don't know it could have been like a balance change but this is really cool definitely the item in the battle pass that most excites me i love it it looks sick and then these are the hands for the the steel specter looking character we'll go ahead and just give you guys a little view of this in game again super creepy um, but that is where we go ahead and call it here for today's YouTube video. I just want to go ahead and quickly show off pretty much all the cooler items of the Battle Pass in one quick video as soon as this update release. 
So you guys can decide how hard you want to grind this season or if you even want to buy the premium battle pass at all. I'll be releasing gameplays on all of these weapons throughout the night for you guys to watch. So if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel and you want to see some of these weapons actually live in game, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you guys did enjoy today's video, I'd really appreciate if you guys went ahead and gave it a like rating. I'd appreciate that since it is January and we're definitely losing money on videos like this nowadays. But uh, anyway, guys, that's gonna go ahead and do it here for myself and I will catch you all in the next one.